my name is Sean Crawford. I'm with Rainwater Management Solutions. Today we're going to show you how we do a purification skid. What you're going to see here is a poly board that's actually going to house the skid. Um, that's actually going to house the components. Um, if we go first here in line, the water's going to come in, the rainwater, unfiltered water is going to come in here. It's going to hit a sediment filter. This is a one micron string wound sediment filter. It's going to have a 20 inch housing that's actually, this is going to sit inside of that housing and keep all the sediment out. From there, it's going to go into a carbon filter. Again, another 20 inch housing unit for carbon. And what that does is keep odor, eliminates odor. Uh, you really don't want that if you're flushing toilets, uh, taking showers with this water, any of that. Um, from there, it's going to go down and go into our 15 gallon per minute UV light. This is what we recommended for this uh, customer. Uh, what this is actually going to do is bring that water to a potable standard. So any uh, harmful bacteria, it's actually going to de deactivate that bacteria, so you, it's actually safe to consume. But this is actually going to be used for flushing toilets, taking showers with. From there, it's actually going to go out to wherever it needs to go, and we'll redistribute that water uh, for use. Some of the critical features that I want you guys to look at that we've done and added here for the customer to make it a little bit more user friendly. We have a uh, pressure gauge here at the start of those filters, and then we have a pressure gauge here at the end of those filters. The reason we do that is because if we see a, uh, a pressure drop, then that tells us, hey, we need to uh, change those filters. The filters need to be maintenanced at least uh, every three months. I've seen customers get away with six months, but we recommend three months just to be safe. The actual the UV light needs to be changed out uh, annually, and um, it will actually beep or go red once it, uh, if, if anything goes wrong and actually stop working. So that's what you got here today. Um, again, this is a purification skid that RMS makes, and it's a 15-gallon-per-minute purification skid.